Good morning. It's Halloween. Just woke up. I overslept a little bit. I should be here in a second. We got trick or treaters coming. We got mad candy dogs. Alex and her friend made back on in. Happy yeah, we'll cry, jump off this dude. For your egg, man. We got Ernie. I don't know who that is. How are you doing this morning? Well, good. I need to get a haircut. I usually don't let comments back to me, but no. it's obvious they're not just comments, they're friendly suggestions from a lot of people. So, uh, I woke up this morning to a couple of tweets from you talking about how you edited the vlog. Well, last we night. edited it. Oh, 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 not now we edit. Like, I'm not a jealous man by any means, but when I see Dirty Earn is a genius for this news segment, Dirty Earn really did something coming up with this news network. Dirty Earn is killing it with this boost news. Let's get one fucking thing straight right now. Yesterday, when this man said he wanted to uh, edit the vlog, I said, there's green screen. F oh, you gotta do that shit. Let me be clear. I edited for four and a half hours. This motherfucker edited for 11. For what I normally edit in three. So, he didn't come on no goddamn news network, motherfucker. No. I'm pulling the fucking strings no. around here. All these motherfuckers this morning, like, damn. I don't know. I mean, we can. Do you want to go to the house? We can do that. So my controller broke. Killed too many people at Fortnite yeah. to trigger, and I can't shoot anymore. I'm playing that shit no more, dog. The fuck? Like, I want to get Red Dead There's Redemption. like three games but, out since. But even in three days, and I feel like I'm going to get into it, and I just want to play it while I'm. So you won't be doing anything. You and Greek will just be hanging out, bonding this trip. I'm walking on this I 95. Wealthy tweet? No. To me? No. No, but it's, I don't understand uh, that. Oh, uh, because Matt Wells, he does this thing with his hands. Oh. Teddy is on his Twitter ship right now. Oh, my fucking Twitter. This is the environment. You would think it might be madness and anger. No, it's calm. It's always calm. <laughs> Thought through, funny. The man is loving this. Here we are. Well, if we were going to get seated again, <laughs> that's out the window. So nobody's going to give us shoes anymore. Shout out to the plugs, the real ones. You know who you are. I think it was hard to, he's trying to kind of... I wasn't gonna talk shit about that thing. Then I watched that whole interview. This is all forced. Like, I get it. Like, now it seems like they're trying to do the shit that we tell them, right? It's like, all right, we told y'all Adidas. Y'all don't tell us stories about anything. So now Ronnie's like, we're storytelling, which goes in fucking direct opposition of his tweet the other day about how he doesn't like to share everything. It's not about, like, being a hater. It's like, dude, what are you really saying? Like, which part of this is who you really are? And which part of this is your marketing scheme? That's all I'm really saying. Because we told Adidas we want them to tell us about product oh, and all yeah. that shit. But we don't want you to do it in the this forced sit down super sterile room. That, that conversation doesn't even seem natural. That's why we're doing it from a helicopter. Yeah, yeah well, heck, y'all do it from a helicopter. Adidas, call me. I got you. I was thinking about we got to connect with someone like maybe in Vegas or something. Vegas, call me. Oh, Vegas, come on the show. We're going to cut to a real helicopter. Dude, you're going to be like, oh shit. Casey, hook us up. He's got the helicopter plug. Yeah, you go up there. I'll stay at the desk. Mm, I don't even want to do that flex, but what? You're going to release that now? Uh huh. Fire. Is that in the next drop? Yeah, man, pop me, son. Dude, you ain't are, we in a, are we in a board meeting right now? We're bad. You don't know I'm working, son. That's just, I work. That, yeah, you you talked about that a long time ago, but I, I don't mm. remember the happy cry being in it. Because it wasn't in it. Today we draw. I'm gonna spend the rest of the motherfucking day or the afternoon drawing. I gotta draw for Houston. I gotta button this thing up. I finish this. Pretty much, I gotta go back through it for like an hour or two. Tighten up little details, but it's pretty much finished. And a lot of people have been asking if this is gonna be for a shirt. Yes. So the reason that this happened this way is normally I'll just draw some, half color it, you know, coach someone to color it. I wanna sit down, take the time to actually color things, make tangible items for myself to have. You know, one day later I can look back and be like, this is the artwork from the shirts this is the artwork from this thing instead of just these digital files as much as i love ai and artificial intelligence and want netflix to know what i want to watch and want phone to order my food for me before i'm even hungry i still like tangible items and i still like making things with my hand we have a really big ai drop coming we did ai last year around this time it's the first time i ever dropped it and now we're bringing it back and doing some new designs bringing some old stuff back new versions 3m versions stuff like that embroidered all kinds of shit i don't know drawing included we're probably at like i'm just gonna call it 70 hours 60 hours maybe we'll say 60 i'm just gonna say 60. i think it took 60 hours to do this whole thing something around i have the houston pop-up which i don't have uh planned yet i'm in houston from the 10th to the 7th 10th to the set no, 10th to the 18th 11th to the 17th i'm tattooing pop-up is probably gonna be on the 18th oh it's perfect it's a sunday so yeah i have to design for houston and that's what i'm gonna do today a lot of people ask me what i do when i design how i come up with ideas whether i come up with ideas is i immerse myself watch pimp C documentaries, Ghetto Boys documentary. It's perfect for Halloween because we have the best Halloween song ever. Hello, hello, Halloween. Fuck.
fucking Halloweeners. I'll be right back. Uh, my trolling, my trolling, my critique. Commentary on the Kith 4D warranted a response from Ronnie. To, you know, I get his point. I mean, the meme, here's the meme, whatever. What I was really open about with Nike, the whole like, hey, let's kind of bootleg out different versions of different shoes. And this isn't the same exact thing. And I'm not really like, Ronnie explained himself. The comment, I'll put it up. I'm not going to read it. But he explained himself. I responded because this is how I feel. I do feel as if the Columbia collab was something that was special. It, it had the sweater vibe. It had the Columbia, the snow. Ronnie brought us like hot cocoa in line. Had context. He moved it to the A16. It's like, okay, sure. I'll take another one. Like it's similar. I like that model. You got me, sure. But then we move 4D. One, it doesn't come in my size. So it's going to force me to look at it in a very honest way. All right, like what the fuck? Granted, there's also the other side of that coin that I can't wear. It's not possible for me to wear it. So if it came in a 13, would I be in line to get it and get my first 4D? Maybe so. I don't want to see, it doesn't matter what I want to see, I guess, but I don't think that any of us are really looking to have sort of the same motif spread out over two, three years almost. It kind of just dilutes everything. I don't, the Aspen was an amazing shoe and now it just feels like Adidas is pimping it out to give clout to the 4D. Cause I think we're all annoyed with 4D a little bit. It's like $400, $500 pairs of shoes retail that come in a limited size availability for a year this has been going on it's like you can't even include people in the sneaker conversation stores only sold small and medium and large and everybody else was forced to just sit there and watch it and i'm like all right well what we're gonna we're gonna form an opinion that mm, you guys are kind of bugging so we have a different perspective altogether we're not even allowed to play kind of feels like adidas has tried to recreate the hype they had with boost with 4d and then they've done a really bad job of doing that because they haven't put their marketing in the right place you can't just dang unattainable shit in front of people and then have no like explanations or anything like that. And I know there's new 4D models coming. The CEO, I believe, of Carbon told us that there's a new mold. It goes up to a 14. That's what that alpha edge is. So it is coming. Obviously, I'm going to try the shoe out and figure it out if I like 4D soul. What I don't like is that Adidas pushed that shit out for a good year, knowing good and damn well that it wasn't over a size 11. All these collabs, like left and right, left and right, which has been annoying, and now you're gonna take arguably people's favorite boost shoe ever and also slap it on a 4D. So it's just, I get that Ronnie says that he wanted to keep the DNA, and I made the comment that there was just extra material, which is me being flagrant. I understand it. Rude of me. I don't appreciate it when I make stuff and people are like, yo, fuck, you did this, that, and third, and they don't understand really everything behind it. I will apologize and say I'm being extra. But they're memes and I'm making memes and I'm joking and I've spent I mean dog I've, between Adidas and Kith I, I know I've spent a hundred thousand. A lot of shoes but I get a lot of stuff from both of those companies and I just feel as if you know I kind of maybe know what I'm talking about a little bit or you know they get away with a lot you know customer service and I, I, I look up to Adidas and certain certain people at Adidas. And I look up to Ronnie in certain aspects. By no means am I afraid to speak my opinion about what's going on. I mean when I don't speak in my opinion, people tell me, I'm going tell you, are doing this, and you didn't say anything, you're a fucking piece of shit. And I truly don't understand what, where the hype comes from. Like, I don't get it that if it seems almost exactly the same as the mid upper for the other Ultra Boost mid that y'all let go to clearance and talk mad shit about. Might be a different material, but it looks like the same silhouette, and people didn't like that. It has fusing all over. People didn't like that on Pure Boost, so I just get confused as to what the fuck people actually like. I don't like it when shit don't come in my size for a fucking year. Can't even try it out, and yeah, I just want to clear that up it wasn't to be uh it's not to be disrespectful i'm a jokester i make jokes i'm a comedian i make memes but i also make art and i make clothing and i live this shit think about this constant and i buy clothing from ronnie and i check it out and i see what he's doing and i buy clothing from other people i check it out and I see what they're doing and i figure out my path into all this so i have comments about the people who are ahead of me and i'm not afraid to talk to them either again i've been spending money with them i've been fucking with them briefly but we've met we've had a facetime i treat it just like anything else i don't think anybody should be afraid to critique as long as they give thought to what they're talking about, which I gave it a lot of thought. 4D's been announced for a long time. Ronnie's probably not watching this, but shout out to Ronnie anyway. I'm gonna start drawing now. Wang get it? Wang didn't get a 4D. Damn dog, no 4D for Wang. What the fuck? Kith, Adidas, whoever the fuck can outgrow me quick. What you like can be outgrown so quick. Boost may not even be around in a few years, dog. It's looking like maybe it will be, maybe it won't. I I don't know. I don't really fucking care. I got plenty of shoes for life. I'm not gonna live to be fucking 200 unless they make me half robot. I'm cool. <clears throat> like, we're good. Got enough shoes. I don't give a fuck if they stop making boots. You know, Kanye looks like most of his shoes this coming up aren't boost models. They aren't knit uppers. We're moving back into shoes that I don't, they're comfortable enough. They have boosts. This is more of a skateboard style upper. This is what I grew up on. So I like the way this shoe looks, yes. Do I like the way this shoe feels, yes. Give me the same feeling as like sliding on an NMD like sock type collar, which I didn't grow up on? No, it doesn't. Did you have a variety? 
yes, you should. You know, the more that these shoes come out like this that maybe have boosts in them, you know, I like the way that Kanye has encapsulated the boosts and it's not always just exposed. Obviously that makes for a larger shoe. So there's certain things that I like and I take notice of and I know that Adidas plays games with collab. Collabs don't work how you think they work. I know, like I know that a lot of yellow tape around all that shit. Found out boost causes cancer and we can't sell any more of it. I'm not gonna just start buying EVA shoe. I guess maybe it causes foot cancer, but that could be crazy. But anyway, that's my day. I'm, I'm really just trying to sketch and draw, and then like in a couple hours, we're gonna start doing Halloween stuff. Six years. Six years of running. With a bunch of joints, this should be your costume. I've been drawing for like, since you left. Nice. Uh, the special pump gun I made for Teddy? Mad scientist, you don't seem very mad. You seem like a happy scientist. Do you have a mad laugh? <laughs> there you go, there it is. Nice. The madness. Gold plated cookie. That'd be dope. And I got mine on giraffe. Amazon. Nice. It's two sizes too big. I wanted to make I wanna make one for Teddy too. I should I make Teddy next year? No. Um, I'm always just gonna be a real motherfucker. Hey! Oh, oh it's our pizza. <laughs> oh we're the trick or treaters. Abner Dog. What? What is that? Can't put this on the vlog. Well not. That's gonna my guy. the best Kodak song there is, and it's just because it like vibe. Like I don't even know what Bruno Mars just said. Yeah. He just said it four times and I still can't remember. It'd be awesome if Gucci got all of it, man. You fucking... Why are you so stressed looking up the I don't because it hit me too many fucking ones and then it said 113th floor. Haunted house, Denver, Colorado. To the haunted house. To the haunted house. Oh, all of a sudden, everybody was all calm, and then as soon as we started leaving, you and Alex just got all stressed out. <laughs> Oh. It's fine. Let's go. We don't need to talk. See you in Albuquerque. All right, homie. Peace. All right. Night calling in a fan. Told him, hold it, don't you panic. Took a island. And I'm cool, ain't got no key to store. I got to follow me and be a T award. When you're with. All right, so we're headed to Ted's. Next is Walmart. Come see me. You don't want no smoke. Supers. Whole Foods. Okay. Here no one though. gives a shit. About what? So, I'm out tomorrow, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Beautiful, well, beautiful river on the- There's not really a river. It's like a stream. I can paint the picture okay. however I want. They might have some drugs. Let's end the drug war, you know? Because they like drugs. I like to come from this angle. Some people don't know that. Here it is on the right. People out here blowing the streets. Brand. You're not saying anything. But this right, I can't see shit on the road. Great angle. Thank you all for the encouragement. Came, kind of came up fast there. Do not forget my motherfuckers. Give me a little fucking room. I'm trying to spill coffee on my shoes. Hi. And we're gonna find right said Fred. Right said Ted. Oh shit. Houston, Houston you have a problem. Shit. It's like no matter what you do when you look into Houston, these things are a part of Houston. Pimp oh, culture, yeah. car culture, and promethazine. Like that's just like what it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to work around it because I don't want to glorify it and I feel like the best way to do it is show it being poured out. Like that's what people of Houston want. Like most people, even people who fucking sip that shit are like, yeah. I should stop sipping this shit. So I feel like that's the best way yeah. to portray that. Is like, it's all poured out. It's not like glorifying it. I don't know, people might be like, Teddy, you're bugging. <laughs> not buying that shit. I think this looks so good, pull them up. What's up, Omar? Out of here. Oh, we got. I was up tweeting until 3 a.m. Listen to all Houston rap last night. And every time I listen to any song, I just hit share. <laughs> We're like, go to sleep. Dog, I'm working, motherfucker. I'm in here vibing some Devin the dude trying to draw this space man. Burns headed out. He's gotta go. He's flying out tomorrow morning, like mad early. I have drawing, drawing, drawing to do as usual. AI lookbook, whoa. AI lookbook is coming. Houston designs are coming. We have a drop on Sunday for the You Are Your Enemy hoodies and tees. There's a lot of shit going on, basically. Uh, contest to 
figure out, shit to give away, videos to make. I got tattoos to schedule still. Everybody's schedule's all crazy. Deciding whether or not I'm gonna buy this new iPad or not, so I might need to sell my old one. What else? I mean, I could probably do this for a couple of hours. I don't know. There's a lot going on right now. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what are you talking about? What I do? I'm just a reporter, sir. I'm an independent news channel. I'm out here speaking for the people. That's all I do. You know what I mean? Why are you going to put a different mold out that goes up to a 14 and throw that NMD upper on it in white? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, for fucking yeah. four. And you saw that somebody, Bodega, I think, posted a misquote on the price for the ZX. 4D. It posted it at 120. People are like fucking losing it because a lot of people see that and think it's one. How do you justify a $500 price gap? I'm like, you don't. I'll, I'll be done way before that. Ah, damn. All right. I'll, okay. All right. So today has uh is great. Well, it's not crazy. I also realized tomorrow. But yesterday after I went off um about Adidas, I'm vlogging. Just Adidas 4D. What I thought think is design laziness. What, this is distracting as fuck. Um, what I thought, this is what happened. When you make things all day, the room just it's destroyed, destroyed. This is how it works. Um, anyway, uh, I forgot what I was just fucking saying. <coughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, after the internet escapade yesterday, I ended up connecting with a guy locally who actually, long story short, I have a meeting with a guy tomorrow morning, like super early, and we're going to discuss some possible manufacturing options in the future. So I'm gonna, I have that meeting going on. I've got still scheduling tattoo emails. Joe Rogan's back on the screen. I don't know why. Scheduling tattoo emails, drawing, trying to get everything figured out. Kind of want to go see Halloween tonight. Bunch of shoes to tell you all about. Like, like these right here came in the other day. These gorgeous text joints these are super sick this tongue i thought this was like, gonna hate this thing this is actually like pretty sick and then once this flaps down it's a pretty nice way of covering up the lacing they put in like i was pretty surprised honestly but it's gore-tex so you're definitely not sizing down I'm gonna make it tighter i haven't even tried on the green pair yet all the pharrells that have come in from stock x i want to compare stuff that i actually do want to talk about in the shoe world i didn't busy and i think that's like the point is once i find a balance with everything desire to do the other thing once i'm fulfilling myself artistically and creatively give myself permission to give a shit about shoes um but the only thing that really happened this week with the big news the thing kind of everybody is talking about is kanye west easy debacle and Yeezys are dead or whatever we joked about it uh and some people think that he's changed his outward i guess political involvement because of the shoes not selling which i don't really think is true i think that's a very like honestly if if anything that's a ploy to get people to talk about it more than anything i don't i don't think i don't think there's a direct correlation there but uh like i said there's a many reasons why i think this newer 700 didn't sell out but <clears throat> i also don't give a shit i think a lot of people are looking into it far too deeply they're just they're just shoes so and you don't know the political affiliations anything else you buy pretty much the gas you buy on the way to work the car you buy may have been developed for a nazi regime at some point you never know you know what i'm saying there's a lot of there's a lot of shit out there keep your eye on the ball um but also support who you want to support but anyway the new 700 is the mauve it's like this right here you've seen them all over the internet for the last six months i could probably do this without even having a shoe in my hand this is what it looks like there are some design differences like in the shoe like little pieces got bulked up and upgraded and just like little things seems like it was cut a little tighter just seems more precise certain little areas are bulked up just like slightly the back heel area is one area that's just a little higher up but the main main thing that you're gonna notice which was a big surprise to me which i didn't one this thing has three and popping all over it which is great i mean that's really the draw of the shoe so you know this isn't my favorite shoe i've said before the 700 is not my favorite shoe i was really happy that it had boost in it and i got to try something out i've worn this for two days now just like around the house and they're comfortable warmer than the haunted house last night they're comfortable for for i have to buy a shoe bulkier than an ultra boost or an nmd i mean it's a comfortable shoe and it looks good i like the color i've said this a hundred times but the off-tone coloring of this and the whatever desert not desert rat whatever they were calling the black one utility black i like those off-tone washed out sort of just dirty looking colors that i just like it so this this looks good to me as far as that the little hit with the solar solar lime is as far as looks go i think this is by far way better looking than this like this is straight up fucking beach boys vibes this i feel like you can wear almost anywhere 
But yeah, there's really no other changes except for one major tweak that they made. The original Wave Runner does not have an elastic band in the tongue. You can totally hit the old Stuff Socks, Peter Smolik, Fat Tongues, Kareem Campbell, 90s skate, front side flip vibe. Um, so this like pops out hella hard. You know, this will bag out. This is the type of shoe I can slip on. I don't have to do anything with my hands. Literally, it's a self-lacing situation. Boop, boop. We're done. You know what I'm saying? Shoe is on. Hands free. Hands free shoes. So with this shoe, I can do the same thing. It's not as floppy. Really, if I was doing a kickflip in these shoes, this one wouldn't fall off. But that I can slip on too. I unlace this shoe completely. Thing is laced tight as a football. It's laced into all these under lacings, and I just have to unlace the whole shoe, bag it out, and then it fits pretty much perfectly. I kept the insole in, and it fits fine. With the other ones, I took the insole out, which I kind of now wish I hadn't because I don't know where they are. There is a boost window, but there's also that that weird, uh, I can't remember what that shit's called. I used it when I made the shoe, whatever it's called, the barrier. I'm calling it a barrier. Um, but yeah, that's the big thing. There's a strap, an elastic strap. Same thing with the Desert Rats, 500, whatever the fuck you call them. Uh, they added that support strap, which just makes for a, it's just a, a tighter fit, but not tight in the sense, let me, let me change. It's a more secure fit. It's not tight once you unlace the shoe. It's just gonna fucking, it's just, there's just a strap there. So some people might even cut those because they don't like it if you have like a wide foot. That might be a bummer. But um, I honestly kind of like it. I don't know, it just depends. Like this shoe I just wear kind of like, I kind of wear ridiculously. I wear it like super baggy. This one I don't have to really baggy baggy out, bag out as much, you know? I haven't been keeping track. I don't know if they're still available. I know a lot of people have been saying that they are and I, I know that Adidas, I, Pretty sure Adidas pulled them off the internet. Who knows? I don't know. A bunch of colorways. There's gonna be a bunch of different models coming. Kinda seems like you're moving away from Boost, so I don't know where my interest is gonna lie. I'm just interested to see what happens, because we have a lot of interesting things happening. I don't necessarily want to say they're bad or good, but as we move into the Ultra Boost 5.0 that has finally, I don't know if officially leaked, but it's out there, and that's supposedly coming in like February, I think, and new Yeezys, there's a V3 coming, there's some models from Adidas is getting rid of, shifting and shaping around, so I am excited to see what happens, I mean, you know, and when there's not cool shoes to buy, that's cool too, because you save money. Um, I'm gonna get back to work, I'm gonna get these drawings done, get ready for Houston, get ready for the drop on Sunday, ready for life, clean this room for the hundredth time, answer questions, respond to these haters, you know what I'm saying, just do that shit, maybe go see Halloween, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, well, work the first try. Peace.